Hi, my name is Nick Parlante, and this is a video about how hard drives work. So when you save a file or an image or something on a computer, you know what? It, how does that work? Where does it go? Uh, so there's two major technologies for that currently. Uh, one is um, this little guy. This is a flash disk. Uh, this actually goes in a digital camera. Or if you have one of those USB keys that has uh, that you plug into a computer, it's a similar technology to this. Um, and that's kind of the, the new way. And this is a, a two gigabyte flash card. So the old way, which is actually still used for some stuff, is this thing, which is called a hard drive. This is a, a three and a half inch uh, hard drive, which you would normally see in a desktop computer or in a server. Um, there's a, a similar variant called a two and a half inch hard drive that's just like a little bit smaller that is very popular in laptops. So this is a 120 gigabyte hard drive and it's fallen out of use, so it's, it's getting sacrificed today for, for this demo. So normally this thing is kept totally sealed, um, but for today, it's gonna, this one's going to get sacrificed because it's not getting used. So the way this works is there's this uh, metal disc here, and it actually has a, a perfect mirror finish on it, so actually what you're seeing there is my ceiling. <laughs> but um, so it, it has a, a coating on it that can st that's optimized for storing magnetism. So this thing spins, and then there's this arm here. And at the very end of the arm, if I zoom in on it, there's a little head. There's the arm. I can move this thing a little bit. Uh, normally, it's no, right now it's locked, but uh, normally it, it, it ranges over the whole disk. Um, so that is a, the the head is a little electromagnet. And so the way this works is in order to write some data, like if you want to store a digital image, uh, the disk is spinning at, say, 7200 RPM, uh, pretty fast, and the head will move over to be right over some particular circular track around this thing. And when the disk is spun to be in the right position, then the head will very quickly go th through a series of north and south uh, magnetism. And so in effect, it'll write that pattern of north and south magnetism onto the disk just beneath it. And the, the head uh, f is said to fly very near to the disk. Um, so that's why it has to be also clean, because it's really, really near so that the, the magnetism can get across and the, the track can be really small. So um, that's how it can take data, which is essentially zeros and ones, and encode that data on a circular track on the disk uh, as a series of north and south magnetic poles. So then reading just goes the other way. Uh, to read the data back, the head would go over and position to where, uh, you know, just over the right circular track. Uh, and then as the disk uh, goes underneath there, the head will notice the north and south pattern of magnetism kind of going underneath it. And from that, you know, say north is one and south is zero or whatever, um, it can recover whatever the original pattern of zeros and ones was. So that, that, that's how it works. Um, so let me down here, I'm going to try and plug this one in. Now, normally this would be stored, as I said, in the computer. You would never run it this way. Uh, but I'm just going to try this. So, get this thing power. There we go. So you notice it's um, it has that sort of stereotypical sound as it kind of spins up, and you've maybe heard that. Um, when you were like turning on your laptop or your computer or something. Uh, now just there, the head was made, you saw it moving and it was made kind of like a clanking sound. That wasn't a normal operation sound. I think that's some kind of error failure mode it's gone into or something because I've got the cover off and it's, it's maybe recognizing that things, <laughs> that something has gone terribly wrong in its world. All right, so let me try, so now that the disc is spinning and the head is just kind of waiting. So let me plug this into my computer. And what I'd like to do is um, just initiate uh, some write commands just to try and, you know, give the head something to do, to uh, ask it to write something onto this thing. Um, there we go. Okay, so it's mounted on my computer. Uh, as I said, that, that loud sound, that's, that's not normal. That's just because I'm abusing it here. Um, all right, so let me try, let's try this. And I'll give it something to do. There we go. So you can see the head is like moving very quickly. Like I've given it some you know enormous series of commands to like write a bunch of files. And so it's just jumping over to be over, I mean who knows? It, you know, it's got this some scheme to organize the circular tracks. So it's jumping over to write little bits of data. There we go. And 
Now I'll be quiet so you can you can uh, hear. Okay, not that clanking sound. Okay, shush. Sure that helps. Um, so as it jumps around from track to track, it does make a little sort of a popcorn sound. Sort of a boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm going to try to shake this thing. Hey, stop making that sound. There we go. Yeah, that's the normal sound. Um, so that's the sound. It, or, so it may, you may have heard that when you hit Control S or something, uh, telling your computer to write something, and it makes a little blah, 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 sound. And so what was going on is, well, for the, the hard drive inside your computer, uh, the head was you know jumping between two or three places and making like a little tiny sound. So uh, you may hear that as you uh, as you do that. Uh, so the you know next time you fire up a computer or do something involving a hard drive. Uh, you're curious what's going on inside? Well, now you know.